Why I no longer accept bookings for ring announcing? That is the question right now that's buzzing around. Jeffrey, you just had the biggest weekend of your career thus far working for Impact Wrestling. Why all of a sudden are you bowing out from ring announcing now? Hey, this is how I... <laughs> I'm ready, come on, ready. Hey, what's up, players? This is WWE Hall of Famer Teddy Long, and I just want you to know that you're watching The Jeffrey Show Live, and that's real talk, players. Why I no longer accept bookings for ring announcing? That is the question right now that's buzzing around. Jeffrey, you just had the biggest weekend of your career thus far working for Impact Wrestling. Why all of a sudden are you bowing out from ring announcing now? That was the big question now in my personal messages, in my comments boards. Everyone wants to know, Jeffrey, why are you done? Why... Uh, of course, when we first go into it, did something bad happen? Did something bad happen backstage? Did somebody rub you the wrong way? Did you not like the atmosphere? Let me just clear the record right now, and I'll get into it in another future video. I absolutely love the Impact Wrestling family. I love the Impact Wrestling family. Thank you guys so much. I learned so so much. They were so patient with me. They were so knowledgeable. They gave me everything that I've needed to succeed during this past weekend. The reason why I'm stepping away from ring announcing is on a positive note, actually. I think that you're not going to be able to do something forever. That's wrestling, that's commentating, that's ring announcing. You're not going to be able to. And it is great to move in this industry. Um, it's with any position, in my opinion, and specifically in the wrestling industry, is how you're going to be the most vital is if you're moving around. And I remember one of my first talks with Teddy about two years ago, Teddy was kind of like the reason why I have so much longevity in this industry is because I was a manager when needed. I was a referee when needed. I was a commentator when needed. I was a public figure on screen when needed. So I did what I had to do to get the on screen time. I did what I had to do to stay relevant. And I've mastered ring announcing. I had an amazing time ring announcing. That's a trait that will never go away. Never go away. Like I've always been able to use my voice. I've learned that skill in the back of my head. But I would be lying to you guys if I was to say that I didn't want another wrestling industry skill that I don't want to acquire more and sometimes in this day and age if you don't speak out and let people know that you want more in any industry like I said in the music industry in your nine to five job in any industry if you're not speaking up and say that you want something different and that you want something more you become stagnant and stuck you become comfortable and people don't know your goals. They'd be like, oh, he wants to ring announce. Let me just continue to help you ring announce. No, I've, I'm done ring announcing. I've reached my peak with ring announcing. I've had it one hell of a couple of years. And I've did something that a lot of people don't get to do in their lifetime. In their lifetime, they haven't been able to do some of the things that I did. In their lifetime, they haven't been able to get paid the X amount of money I've gotten paid for gigs. They haven't been able to travel where I've traveled. I want more. For myself, I have nothing against ring announcing. I love to skill. I love the art. I'll forever. They say that you never really leave something in this wrestling industry for good. If they need me as a ring announcer, I have it. But at least I'm about to have another skill along. But I need for people to know that I want more. I need for people to take me serious in this in this future, in this industry, and know that Jeffrey wants more. I need for people to know that Jeffrey is coming for everything. No. Ring announcers, you don't have to be scared of me anymore. You don't have to think that I'm taking your spots, taking your bookings. There's somebody else that needs to be on because this is a very competitive industry. We're all a family. We're all going to help each other, but this is a competitive industry. Let's not forget it. 
There's another section that has to be worth about Jeffrey Show Live diving into. The blogging industry, the written reviews industries, they were shaking up for a while. I'm done with that. The podcasting industry, I've never done a wrestling podcast before. On my own, they never really have to worry about me as a threat. Ring announcing, I'm good. Commentating, I'm good. So there's a lot more in this industry that I want to accomplish. I'm still young. I'm ready to learn. I'm in shape. I'm ready to go. This past weekend gave me the motivational boost to say publicly that I want more. That's all that it was. It was a beautiful chapter, but I want more. That's all that was. It wasn't a knock on anything. I have nothing but love and respect for everybody. It wasn't a knock. It's like a butterfly. I want more. This past weekend was amazing. Impact Wrestling confirmed to me that, hey, you got this. You can do it. Great job. Now I want to do great job in something else that makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't want to be comfortable anymore. I've been comfortable for a few months now when I first opened up to some close friends about not wanting to do this anymore. Not because I don't love it. Not because I can't do it. Not because I'm intimidated. Nothing about that. Not that I feel like I can't make it to the top because I will. But because I want to be uncomfortable again. I love being uncomfortable. I, I thrive the most when I'm uncomfortable. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. Am I done with the wrestling industry? Not by a long shot. I can't emphasize that enough. I love wrestling. That's my love. But I am going to do a lot more. I am going to find some more, some more jobs. If this is your first time watching me, be sure to subscribe to Jeffrey Show Live. My name is Jeffrey Taylor. Be sure to like this video. Comment your thoughts on changing positions in the work atmosphere. And be sure to stay tuned for more Impact Wrestling vlogs about my life.